Lesson 4 is on comparing whole numbers and it starts on page 12. Now when we say we're going to compare whole numbers, we're going to talk about is one number equal to another one, is it greater than another one, or is it less than another number? Now when we count numbers in a sequence or just if we're counting whole numbers, we start with the least and go to the greatest usually. So like maybe we were just doing 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 is greater than 3. 5 is greater than 3. 4 is greater than 3. If we start from the left, we'd say 3 is less than 4. 3 is less than 5. 4 is less than 5. 4 is less than 6, and so on. Now we use special symbols when we're comparing numbers. Let's say we were comparing 7 to 7. We would say 7 is equal to 7. And that symbol in between the two 7s there is called an equals sign. Often we use symbols in math to represent something we could write in words. And so what I have there in yellow next to that is how you would say that in words. 7 is equal to 7. Let's compare 7 with another number. 7 is greater than 5. And we use that symbol. It's called the greater than symbol. In words, we would say 7 is greater than 5. So that symbol that represents the words is greater than. 7 is greater than 5. 7 is less than 12, and that symbol there represents less than. If you look on your computer keyboard, that greater than and less than symbol are at the bottom right of your computer keyboard, and you can hit the shift key to make those, like if you were typing something out and you wanted to use that greater than symbol, you just hit the shift key and hit that greater than button. And so getting back to 7 less than 12, in words we would say 7 is less than 12. That less than symbol is in place of the words is less than. Now look at practice problem A. 14 is less than 20. I want you to use symbols to represent is less than and represent that statement. So you'd write 14, then you'd put a less than symbol. It's kind of like an arrow pointing to the left. 14 is less than 20. And so that's how we would write that word statement, 14 is less than 20, using a mathematical symbol. Look at this one. Write this using a mathematical symbol. 6 is greater than 0. So you would just put 6, then you'd use your greater than symbol. Looks kind of like an arrow symbol pointing to the right. 0. And so that's how you'd write that using a math symbol. Next, practice problem C. I have three numbers there. I want you to write them least to greatest. Well, just think of your place value. You've got like 100's place tens place, ones place. You've got, just look at your hundreds place. You've got a one in that 182, so that's less than two. So that'd be but in front of, and it's less than the eight, too. So you'd say 182, that's less than 218. And then 218 is less than 821. So writing those numbers least to greatest, you'd have 182, 218, and 821. Look at practice problem D. Compare those two numbers and write the appropriate mathematical symbol in that little circle in between the two numbers. 89 and 98. Well, just think about it. 89, 90, 91. 89 is going to be less than 98, and so we need to put a less than symbol in there to represent 89 is less than 98. And let's do one more. Compare 118 and 181. And we always read these left to right. We don't read them right to left. We read just like we're reading when we're reading a book, left to right. 118 is less than 181. It'd be before 181 if we were counting up to 181. So again, we put a less than symbol to represent that 118 is less than 181. Okay, well that's all for lesson four.